different stages in. I almost remember the day that I turned into what I call the invisible woman. In my last workplace, the small team that I was part of, of seven women, referred to as the nanas. Do you feel that way about your grandparents or your uh, you know, mother or father or older people? I think one of the critical things is people don't realise they're being ageist. They think it's just you know, a bit of a joke or I didn't really mean anything by it or I'm not, that's not negative, it's just sort of stating it the way it is. The momentum is there, we just have to you know, tap people on the shoulder and say, yo, what, a, what about age? In my sort of context, people are very much aware of aging. It's just different process that we're going through. There are pockets of huge appreciation. We need to highlight those and celebrate those and use those to guide all of us in coming together to take action. It's more like a process of life, a lot of acceptance and adjustment. And uh, the idea is do what I can. Do as much as I can. For me, getting older is um, the joy of flexibility to make more of my own decisions about how I spend my time, what I'm committed to, what I can do for myself, my family, my community, and that's a joy. I'm able to do a lot of things that I wasn't able to do and that I get a lot more enjoyment from. This is a time you can really do what you want to do. <laughs> This is a call to arms, it's a call to action. Not only do we have to embrace it, we have to put it on the front line so that we, there is age equity. It is this notion that every age counts. Yeah.